hey guys welcome to this uh, part of your SEO training uh, suit okay in this video we are going to see fully about uh, adding metadata for images right so adding metadata to images really makes sense because any search engine bot will actually look forward to understand an image better right and that is where the metadata helps a lot and we have implemented this metadata addition to images and uh, we have uh, added those images to business websites and those sites end up ranking very well and at times the images by itself rank on top of the image search you know the reason the reason is very very simple not everybody does give this much of time energy and efforts to add metadata to images and help google understand the images better okay so let us get started uh, first let us go to pixabay and this is where we get a lot of stunning free images right trust me guys if you're working on a web-based project or if you are a, a social media marketer you just uh, make use of this free stock images right so there is pixabay there is pixels and there is free pick and a lot of other online sources they were like home provide like stunning free images which you can use on your uh, business websites and all other work okay so to get started with i'm going to try an image uh say hotel okay so you can see i get a lot of images and i choose this one okay so first is i have to uh, save this image can see when I open a new tab this image size is optimal for most of the works that we do online right so basically what people does is they download the image in high definition they use Photoshop and then they save to web and they just resize it compress and a lot of magic has to be done but if you are using pixels you just right click on the image open a new tab and you can uh, just uh, download this image and it is not going to uh, take too much of your time right so I just saved that image here right and the next step is we have to go to the exifier.net okay there are a lot of editors available on the web say those editors are uh, like uh, Mac book based softwares or like Windows based softwares Linux based softwares and web based softwares and more or less all the softwares or tools have the same set of options or similar options right only the way how you add this meta information will vary a bit okay so in this tutorial we are going to use this web based exifier uh, .net, okay so this really works well okay and we are just going to drop this image here you can see that the image is being uploaded so based on your internet connectivity the uploading of images uh, will vary a bit okay so once it's uploaded you can see that uh, like there is a new option called as exif.me just click on it and uh, you can see all the options for uh, metadata pops up here okay you can see the make is canon like eos digital and this is the options that is preloaded right so basically what you can do is you can even uh, change the time of photograph say if you are in uh, say 2018 I will say I'm working in June it's, uh, we can put something like today say June 3 and that is done so right now I've just given a random date and based on your web based projects or whatever it is you can give the date of uh, that particular uh, event or the work that you're doing so it will help in making Google understand that this is a very recent photograph okay and uh, let us start uh, going through it one by one here it says artist if you have any people inside this photograph you can add them and say I'm going to upload this to click do so the owner name will be click to limited copyright click to limited and again image description and say if I'm uh, working on to uh, push this particular image 
say to be something like uh, book the best hotel in London all right so this is something random which I'm giving next is the EXIF camera settings which you don't want to worry a lot about because this is more about uh, image how it is shot and if you have really a lot of time you can go through it and you can set up these things but this is not compulsory right so this is the tags okay so copyright notice image from pixabay and uh, let us go one by one like uh, file format mm. data illustrator so where is it? okay so for now we can just leave it empty but uh, it depends on your usage so next one is a keyword this is the important section say Hotels in London, best hotel London, hotels or say uh, luxury hotels London, right? And then you can uh, give a headline and then we can come like can come down so the city can be London starting uh, some GPS location so based if your business is uh, uh, like more of a business listing kind of thing you can just utilize this tool right so if checked oh, okay basically they also have an option like EXAF cleaner if you check it all the data will be clear right so next you go to geotags you can see that the geotags are properly inserted and uh, the rest of things are optional and this is fine this is more than enough and this is where the important part comes in right the title description the creator everything pops in right the creator can be uh, say right now I'm giving click to limited but actually click to limited doesn't want to rank for hotels in London if you say if you have a hotel called as ABC you can enter the hotel name here right so the title book the best hotel in London description can be um, best luxury hotel in done um, and you can see that the location can give London and uh, Okay, this is all for now. City London. So the more details you give hotels and accommodation, right? So the more details you give here, the more the better the image tends to rank. Okay, so you have a lot of options like from general IPTC tags and geo tags and XMP tags. Okay, so once you give everything. You have to click on go exifying. You can see the exif data for your file hotel room uh, has been successfully modified. Now you can close the editor. So once you are done with that, you have to uh, download file. Okay, you can see the new option download.me. So once you click on it, your file will be downloaded. Right. So there is no uh, image compression done here. So you upload the image, you add metadata to it and you download the image. And this is the simple process. And this works really well. Trust me, guys, for any landing page that you do, 
like you have to add metadata to your images and then you use it on your website and you can see a real difference in ranking okay so if you have any questions about this metadata for images just drop a comment below this video and we'll be happy to help you thank you